It's been nearly a decade since a military coup in Fiji, led by military commander Frank Bainimarama, ousted the country's civilian government. In the bid to restore democracy to the country, the country's major donors, not long after that, began to disengage from the government in Cuba. These donors included the ADB, the EU, the World Bank, and Australia. Since the country held elections in September, however, which made by Nirama a democratically elected prime minister, these donors have begun to trickle back into the country, Devitz has learned. Only on Wednesday, the World Bank approved a 50 million investment in the country's transport sector, the bank's first major investment in the country since 1992. Back in December, the Asian Development Bank approved 350 million in financing for Fiji over the next five years. That figure is bigger than the ADB's total financing for the country since 1970. At the same time, Australia and the EU are also beginning to channel aid directly through the government for the first time since the coup. The EU, for instance, plans to give about $30 million through 2020 through the European Development Fund. Australia, meanwhile, plans to allocate about $47 million to the country in the current financial year. Interestingly, we also learned from some sources that Australia seems to have withdrawn its opposition to the ADB and World Bank's operations in Fiji. That, in turn, has paved the way for the two banks to set up shop in the country once again. Now, as Western donors make a comeback to Fiji, one thing to keep in mind is that they are entering a very different development finance landscape compared from a decade ago. Since 2006, emerging donor China has pumped $340 million in foreign aid to Fiji. That would make China the single biggest donor to Fiji over the past decade. For now, China and the Western donors seem to be coordinating their activities on an ad hoc basis. We have learned, however, from some sources that the Fiji government plans to set up a mechanism that will allow them to coordinate their activities more effectively. For a full analysis of Fiji aid flows, log on to devets.com.